hello everyone hopefully you will be fine and enjoying the course of life today let's discuss another important setup of advanced warehouse management which is reservation hierarchy so reservation hierarchy can be found in the warehouse management setup inventory and then the reservation hierarchy a reservation hierarchy is a hierarchy of storage dimensions used for reserving inventory in warehouse management in Dynamics 365. The dimensions such as site, warehouse, inventory status, location, and the license plates all are required. The batch number and serial number dimensions are optional and only be to be included if they are used in the associated tracking dimension group for an item. The elements in a reservation hierarchy determines which dimensions must be recognized when the actual reservation occurs. So before process processing any order uh, for the advanced warehouse enabled item, the reservation hierarchy is must. The warehouse management before processing any order for which we advanced warehouse is enabled actually reserves that inventory to create the work. So in which order you will be reserving your inventory at order level will be determined by this reservation hierarchy. The location of an item is identified by the warehouse management system. Typically the dimension in the hierarchy which are listed here are determined in the warehouse for example during picking. You do not need to provide the location and dimensions that are listed below the location when you enter an order. However, if you want to make a dimension required at the order entry level, this dimension must be moved above the location in the hierarchy. Let's say I want to reserve my batch number at the order entry level and I have to move this uh, batch number dimension above my location dimension. So how I'll be doing that, let's create a new one, test, test and here you see uh, I have a site as selected by default all dimensions are selected on the site the warehouse, the inventory status, and the location. If I want to reserve my batch before processing my order, like before releasing my uh, order to the warehouse, uh, then I have to move my batch number before the location. If I don't want to reserve my inventory at order entry level, uh, which includes the batch number, then I will be uh, moving it down uh, down the location. If I want to reserve at license plate level, then I'll be uh, moving license plate uh, before the location. And same goes for other serial number and the owner dimensions. So if I don't want to use any of them, let's say, seri uh, let's say a serial number and the batch number and the batch number and the owner, then I'll be removing them from the selected dimensions list. Now my uh, at the order entry level when I will be creating my sales order my items will be reserved automatically based on site then warehouse then inventory status then location and then the license plate. So automatically at the order entry level up to uh, the location will be uh, reserved and uh, once the order is, is released then uh, the user which has been assigned to pick the work will be scanning that license plate from the specified location. By pressing OK my new dimension uh, inventory reservation hierarchy has been created and it is configured to use the site warehouse inventory status and the location at the order entry level and license plate at the picking level. Now let's see how we can utilize this on the items. Let's go to product information management. Let's select the one which is 
uh, red one. Sorry, I have to go to the storage dimension groups. Let's see which is the advanced enabled. And let's go to the related items. If you know the item directly, you can go on that and select the reservation hierarchy. So here, uh, these are the items which are uh, enabled for advanced warehouse management. So here, uh, above that item, I have the reservation hierarchy, which is set to default. If I want to change uh, my reservation hierarchy, so in that case, I'll be running uh, another in periodic uh, inquiry job. So all these are available. Let's uh, create a new item. Let's give it a name. Test product 002 and same is my number. Uh, let's select the tracking dimension, which is uh, batch and serial, and my item model group, which is say uh, first in, first out. Let's select the item group, which is say audio. Let's select the story dimension group, which is advanced enabled, advanced warehouse. And now let's select the reservation hierarchy. Test. Okay, now system is telling me uh, that the tracking and uh, story dimensions uh, the hierarchy is not configured to use uh, the, the dimension groups. So I haven't selected the batch and serial numbers for my uh, reservation hierarchy, but my tracking uh, dimension is requiring me to track based on serials. So let's uh, update that and use none for that. And now if I select my hierarchy, then it will be okay to go. So here, uh, the hierarchy which you are using with your storage dimensions and your uh, tracking dimensions. Let's select okay. So item has been created, A1123 and before processing any entry, if I want to change uh, my hierarchy, I can do so by going there. But after processing transactions for my uh, item, I will not be able to change my reservation hierarchy. Then I will have to move to my warehouse management yep so within the uh, the product information management product tasks warehouse management and then uh, change reservation hierarchy for the items so by going there I'll be selecting my uh, say reservation hierarchy and then I'll be selecting my item number to change the say it is a double one two three I'm pressing OK system will be updating my reservation hierarchy but it is not a recommended approach uh, 
to change the relation hierarchies uh, by going into that. So you need to close the inventories before, uh, before like you can uh, do this uh, periodically at the time when uh, you are closing your uh, inventories. So let's go back to our item. Products, release products, A double one two three, and let's check that reservation hierarchy has been updated. So since I haven't processed any transition on that, so I can uh, go, I can change my reservation hierarchy directly from here. But if I process the transitions, then uh, the periodic job needs to be uh, used in order to change the reservation hierarchy. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.